Passover is the yearly remembrance of the Jewish people escaping slavery in Egypt. Typically, it's a time for families to come together, but local synagogues are closed. As Dan Kub reports, they are now figuring out ways to serve satyrs from a distance. <laughs> A Passover Seder in 2020 requires a little more ingenuity than in years past. I've never had one where we tried to and were unable to do it. This year we actually had planned to have a physical Seder. Aaron Krupnik is the senior rabbi at Congregation Beth El and Voorhees. He and four other come. leaders at the temple filmed a 90-minute video featuring all of the tent poles of a traditional Seder, from the questions to a kid-friendly version of the Ten Plagues. Making the cows all sick. <laughs> Hail! There were swarms of locusts! Krupnik says the switch to virtual services has been a worthwhile learning process as they've seen numbers grow throughout the quarantine. We now routinely get 60, 70 people um, at an evening service and they're able to see each other and they're able to chat with each other. And so it's actually created a stronger community. It's kind of paralleled a lot of Jewish history. Whenever challenges come against the Jewish people and we rise up to solve them, a stronger, more vibrant Judaism always emerges. And that's kind of what's happening now. This will change the course for the better of our congregation. There are a number of local synagogues hosting virtual seders tonight and throughout Passover. We have a list of them on our website, cbsphilly.com. In New Jersey, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.